Hey y'all, and thank you for tuning in to my channel, Eugenia Speaks. I am Eugenia, mm -hmm. and today, <laughs> oh, I got an amazing video for y'all today. Today, we have two black female authors in the house, y'all. How exciting is that? That is just so exciting to me, because both of them are my friends. <laughs> One is a childhood friend, and the other is a friend that I, um, grown to love and adore several years ago all right but before i get into this wonderful video please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not thank you thank you very much all right y'all i know that sometimes i usually do a music feature there's no music feature this week but y'all will hear some type of sensational music that's playing right about now <laughs> okay but uh i think next video i'm gonna have a music feature so be looking out for the next video y'all it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be so much fun I'm looking forward to the next video all right okay so let's see what which book do I want to start off with first I think I'm gonna start off with Nia Shanta's book I'll show this to y'all there's a glare because that's just how it works <laughs> there we go worth the weight that's the name of her book and um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the summary and we can move forward that way all right one of the main characters is a lady named Natalia or Natalie I think it's Natalie sorry um, that is celibate she is uh, professional she's beautiful um, and she's just living her best life y'all okay um, she appears to have it all and um, is doing wonderful things in life except for one thing that she's lacking and that is love her love life her husband she waiting on her husband y'all okay all right so uh, she also uh, experienced a devastating breakup Okay, and that's been that's hard on all women, okay? But although she's went through heartbreak and heartache, it's not stopping her from, you know, looking towards the future and she still want to get married. So, I guess the plot twist of the book, you know, will she uh, continue on her wonderful road of staying pure and holy, okay? Keeping her body to herself, all right? Or will she be tempted by some tall, dark, and handsome man that's going to get her off track and um, who she might give it up to? It sounds like a juicy book to me, okay? And we haven't even got all the way into it, okay? So there's other um, characters in the book, and they have um, st interesting stories as well, all right? But I'm not going to talk about them. We're just going to talk about that one, okay? And, uh, yeah, so it sounds like it's a pretty suspenseful book. And, uh, yeah, so I will tell you this, um, Nene, I know you're going to hate me for saying that, Nene. Nia Shanta, her nickname is Nene, but she hates for people to call her that. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about her, okay, and then I'll get into one of her other books that I absolutely love. Um, so Nene is an international educator and a reader. Um, she is a fresh, a fresh new voice in the Christian fiction world. After reading um, Nia Shanta's personal memoir, that's the book I just mentioned, The, the Five uh, Men of Her Life, y'all, swear before Jesus, I'm going to tell y'all, I bought her book at a baby shower. It was a mutual friend of ours baby shower. I think it was Monique's baby shower, long time ago. And no lie. There's probably a handful of books that I have read through and through within one uh, one day. Like, and Nini's book is one of them. So that lets you know that it is written very well. It is so detailed. It is so colorful. And it just, once you start reading, you cannot stop. Not only did I read her book, her the first book, or I think it's the first or second book she wrote, The Five Men of Her Life. Not only did I read that book in one day, but I reread the book 
that's how good it was. So y'all, I believe she got the book on Amazon still. If so, go ahead and buy that book too. Buy that book and then buy this one worth the wait. All right. All right. And so if you want to check out Miss Nia Shanta, she's on Twitter at Nia Shanta. She's on Facebook at Nia Shanta. And she's on Instagram at Nia Shanta Ross Writes. I think her Facebook is Nia Shanta Ross as well. All right. All right. And so the link to this video, uh, not this video, this book <laughs> is going to be in the description box. So I believe the description box is either on this side or this side, y'all yeah, get confused. But there's an arrow, right? So just press that arrow and it's gonna have all of the information from this video. Um, yeah, so that's where you can find the link to her book. All right, okay, and last but not least, Jadia Miller. This has her maiden name on there. Um, but this book is called Double Minded. All right. All right, I'll tell you a little bit about this book as well. So um, this book is an encouragement type of book for Christians um, to learn how to listen and obey God, okay? Um, we all have so many gifts and, talented, and talents that we possess, and it is so easy to get distracted right and do whatever we feel like we want to do when that may not be god's plan for us okay so um judea is a believer in god and she believes that all of us belong to god which we do and all of our gifts belong to god as well so uh the bottom line is um this book can help you to recognize god's voice if you have gifts and talents and you're trying to figure out what you want to do with them or which way you should go, this book can kind of help guide you, you know, to figuring out, okay, is that really a sign from God? Is this really something I should be doing? You know what I mean? So that's wonderful. Also, she speaks a little bit about some of her personal experiences with listening to God's voice instead of just following um, what she wants to do. So I think that's interesting that she's talking a little bit about her life as well. Um, so yeah, you can purchase this book on Amazon. Yes, you can. And I'll leave, you know, the link in the description box for you to purchase this book. If you want to contact Miss Miller, um, she's on Facebook at Jadia Miller and she is on Instagram at, I think it's Ja, so it's J.A. Miller 2018. And a cool thing about Miss Miller is she is a therapist, y'all. You know, we all need to be in therapy. Every single last one of us need a therapist. She is a licensed therapist out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Y'all, hit her up for some therapy. Come on, get the book and go get a session. <laughs> okay? So she can just hook you up all the way around. All right? So Revive Counseling of Tulsa is where um, she does some of her therapy work, all right? Okay, well, this was a pretty um, quick review. <laughs> pretty quick review. So, yeah, I, I guess I won't hold y'all no longer. So thank y'all so, 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 so very much for tuning into my channel. I appreciate you. Bye.